to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. We need to be merciful and we need to be compassionate for our sakes and for the sake of our children and even our children's children this morning service we are going to pray and there are there are two prayers when it's time to pray we are going to pray two sets number one is to kill some wrong seeds we have sown now because if the seeds of lack of compassion that we have sown actually become harvests we will spend the remaining that means you have you have already enjoyed the happiest days of your life and we need to cancel it by the blood to say lord i made a mistake i have everybody around my life is fighting me because of my 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 show of hardness and i think it is proof of masculinity lord you have reminded me this morning that i'm human one day i will need that mercy let me tell you this respectfully speaking parents there are many of us the way we are treating our children now don't forget you will be old don't forget you will be old one day you will not be able to move your legs and it is not just your child who will help you it's your track record that will help you sometimes you see very old people roaming around moving and you are wondering why is mama why is baba suffering like this don't they have children then they will tell you the child is somewhere in the u.s even running a charity foundation and blessing people and the child will say my mother rather dies or my father i know what they did to me i cried and i begged them i pleaded with them to give me a chance for life and they shut the door at me but the god of all mercy came and met me i believe in people provided a plant is not dead you can still water it you only stop watering a plant when it is dead a dead plant cannot have life again but a plant that is dying can be revived hallelujah i received several text messages from people most of them for prayers but then a few times people send me text messages and say something like apostle thank you so much you may not know me but today i'm a graduate because of my fees that you paid and i don't even know the people today apostle thank you for what you have done you cannot imagine this and that and that and that we are able to eat today because of this and that and i say lord thank you sometimes tears come out of my eyes and i say lord i remember where you took me from some of us this morning we need to remember where he took us from because you see the beauty of the palace can so erode the pain of the wilderness that you will forget it was from there you came Blessed are the merciful. Some of us need to go back right now and call our children together and say, look, gentlemen and ladies, I know you may not be doing well, but I need to tell you that I want to participate in your life. Provided you are alive, I will not give up on you. Remember, don't forget the condition I taught you for administering mercy. If you do not find brokenness, don't waste your time administering mercy. Let me repeat. If you do not find brokenness, no matter how emotional the people are, once you do not find brokenness, I give you an advanced information. Communicating mercy will be a waste of time. But if and when you find brokenness, let mercy prevail over judgment. Hallelujah. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. 
You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame and poured your love. You look beyond me. You look beyond me. Listen, it's time for you today to call somebody you know. You know that that woman has been bereaved, cannot help herself to say, listen, how have you been? Just to let you know that I love you and to let you know that if for any reason I can help to make your life easier, I am here. It's not all about money. Your prayer is also a gift. Compassion is also a gift. Many of you may have heard this in my teachings that aside being a man of God, the greatest testimony about my life that I desire, aside being a man of God and aside being a lover of God, is that I was a shoulder for wounded people. It's a testimony that is priceless to me. I can't wipe the tears of everybody, but let me do my best. Let me not see someone who is crying with brokenness and then I have the power to help. I will help. I will certainly help. I have wept at funerals. I have cried with people. I've told people, listen, I may not be able to help. I may not be able to pray. I've prayed the person is not coming back to life, but at least let me help. The hymn writer, we used to sing the hymn in the seminary. And it says, Thus will we pass from the earth and its toiling. Remember that song? Only remembered by what we have done. Not by what we had. Not by the offices we occupied. We must be guided by three things as we sojourn this path of life. Number one, the fear of the Lord. Number two, conscience. Number three, a sense of posterity. So I recall for you again one more time and one last time the story of the Samaritan. The priest ignored that man who was in need of mercy. The Levite ignored that man who was in need of mercy. But when the Samaritan came, he did his best. Can I tell you? God does not burden us with any assignment to do everything and be everything to everyone. That is a call to a burden and a load, a luggage that God did not give you. But then God encourages us to do our best. Our best. As a man of God, I've made up my mind that I will do the best that I can. That my life and my ministry will be an instrument of mercy. This is why I do the things that I do. First, because I love Jesus. But sincerely, the second reason is because I love everyone I minister to. I don't go to preach to be a celebrity. I go to preach because I love God's people. And I know that if God has granted me the rare privilege of bringing an information that can help lighten their burden, God has granted me an anointing that can help bring healing, bring hope and help them, then I will not waste it. Is God speaking to someone? Now we are going to pray. The first prayer is going to be a cry for repentance. Some of us sincerely, I don't mean to dishonor you, but we need to pray this morning and say, Lord, change this heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Some of you, even if you see a dead body on the ground, you will kick it and move. That is a, is a Luciferian heart. We have to pray and say, Lord, replace this heart of stone with a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh a heart that can be compassionate that if someone is crying I can't just turn my face and act as though nothing happened no you hear that someone lost their loved ones even if you cannot bring resources to do anything you can come and say please let us pray Lord we pray for the comfort of the spirit and that's it that contribution Someday, if Christ tarries, whether you like it or not, we'll all not be here. 
It's a news many of us don't like hearing. If Christ tarries, every dead man today once stood before a dead body. Hmm. Please listen to me. I didn't come to waste your time this morning. This is one of those teachings you must archive in your heart. Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life for you? When it's all been said and done, all my treasures will mean nothing. Only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test of time. Lord, your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness. And find treasured gold in Mary clay, turning sinners into saints. And I will always sing your praise here on earth and ever after. For you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done. You're my life when life is gone. I was not singing. I was revealing something to you. That someday that clock will stop. And the treasure you have that can go with you is the treasure of mercy. How far you reached for his name's sake. Who you were able to help today. Some of you God is speaking to you. You have not raised anybody aside from your biological children. There is nobody today who has come to know Jesus because of you. There is nobody who has had a life of meaning and purpose because of you. No excuses. It's time to make up our minds. The women in this great church have gathered us this morning to remind us again. It is not only the God of mercy we cry for for mercy. We must pray that God will also make us merciful. Fire for fire will end two of you in ashes. You will need to soft pedal your approach to life and approach it with mercy and compassion. Prayer point number one. Lord, walk on my heart. Is someone praying? walk on my heart i don't know how you are going to cry to god this morning please don't act like you did not hear this preacher sent from god the foundations of sapphire have called us together walk upon my heart i have been sowing wrong seeds i tremble at your word this morning grant me grace grant me grace i have participated in the pain and the destruction of many i am the reason why so many are in tears today i repent i repent i repent i repent before the god of all flesh someone pray someone pray those following online are you praying asking the god of all grace to purge your heart Mercy is a harvest. If you do not sow that seed of mercy, do not expect a harvest. Someone is praying. Lord, the grace to cry with them that cry. The grace to stand with them who have demonstrated genuine brokenness. The grace to forbear. The grace to be merciful. To be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. Please pray. The grace to communicate mercy.
Lord, take away this hard-heartedness. Grant me a heart of flesh. Grant me a heart of flesh. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. This is a message this morning. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are those who spend their lives sowing these seeds of mercy every day and everywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came in yesterday and I will tell you this and sincerely from the depth of my heart I saw the way our mothers and the women in this church the love the graciousness the care you know I kept looking at them and wondering in my mind did they have to go this far and I could see that show of compassion and love and mercy number one I saw from yesterday and today it's not my first time here but I saw afresh that they were mothers indeed number two I saw again that these were people who did not just give a topic just to honor a conference but truly that from their hearts this was something that was already a lifestyle and for many they were willing to concretize it as a lifestyle their love and their benevolence was my own sermon in this conference and I say that without any sense of flattery, even up until this morning. I was so humbled by their show of love and compassion. And I said, Lord, thank you. I came to preach, but I also came as an audience to hear the foundations of Sapphire preach. And let me tell you, you preached a powerful message. You preached a powerful message. This is a women conference, but please allow my bias before we go to the second prayer. I have 10 more minutes. I want to also salute the men in this church. Hold on before you clap. I will tell you why. Because for the men in this church to have allowed their wives this freedom of expression and to give them this opportunity to stretch this far, to make this happen without feeling insecure without feeling sad the fallen man is usually um, his ego driven and so when you see men who have been cultured by the power of God so enlightened and transformed by the power of the Word of God to allow the purposes of God find expression unhindered we cannot ignore it can we honor our men in this church <laughs> I'm not a politician. This is not a manifesto for any political party. I stand here as one sent by God truly. Everyone is standing here. Some of you are fathers, mothers. You probably may have been too hard on your children. And this sermon is a cause for a rethink. Don't say I'm like that. That's where the Holy Spirit comes as a helper. He can help us change. Some of us children, we are here and it's not demons attacking our parents. It's the trouble we keep showing them after everything they have given. It's time for a change. Don't say it's their responsibility to take care of me. One day you will be a parent too. Remember. Growing up, I used to see my parents do certain things. And you know, as children, we would frown at a lot of things. But when I became an adult and I became a leader, my respect and my regard for parents multiplied and it continues to multiply every day. Unbelievable things they have to endure. And they had to endure. Some of us here are workers. We need to be merciful to our subordinates. Some of us here are leaders at different levels. It is good to be strict and work in compliance with the terms that make for excellence and progress. But we must keep a space in our hearts where we can show mercy. 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 I'll sing a song and then we'll do the last prayer. 
Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let your love increase. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. The walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace there are many family people after this meeting you need to go back home and say it's all right this fight and this this ego driven conflict in this home let's swallow our pride and show one another mercy let's fight for what we cherish the most for some of us you need to return back you are deserving you are not yet deserving of mercy i meant to say many of you looking at me here you are saying thank god apostle is preaching this thank god my boss is in this church he will not show you mercy because you are not broken some of you are not yet broken can i tell you provided there is pride so that you don't misunderstand what I've been laboring here to say. If there is pride and an unrepentant heart, I've told you that mercy is a waste. As merciful as God is, there are people going to hell today. There are people in hell. The fact that there is someone in hell should tell you that mercy has limits. Rebellion and disobedience keeps pushing you away out of the boundary of mercy. And the moment you get out of the boundary of mercy, all that you see left is judgment. Are we together? I prayed yesterday for some prayer requests and I just felt stirred in my heart that there were people who did not have an opportunity to submit those requests. I have seven more minutes here and I don't intend to shoot beyond the time. At the permission of your pastor, can I please request that in the next one minute, please write what you are trusting God for. If you were not able to submit it, ushers, please help us. In case you wrote yesterday and you wrote in unbelief, you didn't stretch your faith to write the things that need to be solved. Please, I want you to write very quickly. The covenant keeping God is about to arise for you. Please write it with faith in your heart. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed help me Adonai, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed Adonai, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be Adonai, from the rising of the sun. Please write it down. Everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Please write it down. Write it down. Father, healing by your mercy for my loved one. Someone is having cancer, even stage four. Write it down. Lord, I'm trusting you to recover all the losses that I incurred from COVID, write it down. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, Philippians 4, 6, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, it says, let your request be made known unto God. 
There is a God that answers prayers. There is a God that answers prayers. Please, ushers, help. If you are done, can you wave it? Let's save time. Just wave it. Please help them. Someone is, there are people waving theirs. Just wave it and we'll bring it before the God of heaven. Make sure you write something. Believe me, God will surprise you. The God of mercy will so surprise you. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name. For those of you who are following online, watching by television, or you are connecting through the internet, you may be wondering, Apostle, how do we get our requests here? Let me tell you what you need to do. If you can't send it, I want you to just write your prayer request and then lift it as a point of contact while I pray, expecting the God of all grace and mercy to visit you. Are we done? I'm about to start praying now. Is there someone? Okay, please help. Uh, we have our father there. Please everyone begin to pray in one minute while you are standing. Lord, you who is the God of mercy, arise for me. Please don't keep quiet. Pray in one minute. Arise in your power. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yet yeah, the set time has come. wonders will arise for someone believe me for somebody writing this testimony you will keep recording testimonies till this year is done hallelujah now here's what I want you to do you don't have to kneel I'll do the kneeling for you as I kneel to pray please in one minute I'd like you to cry because some of you have cried and cried cry to the God of all mercy Lord these Egyptians I see today May I see them no more forever. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. No distraction. We have just a minute or two. Someone is praying. You came to church this morning. Healings. Miracles supernatural provisions by the mercy of God liftings, restorations deliverances from the valley of the shadow of death someone pray, someone pray someone pray
You're praying. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. My God, His mighty presence in this place. Fill this place. Is someone praying? An end comes to captivity. Oh God of mercy, arise in your power, arise in your mercy, visit families, visit destinies. Hallelujah. I want you to agree with me and please shout a resounding amen when we begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of prophecy, I declare unto you that this Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. For someone here in the name of Jesus, my God is bringing you restoration before the end of this month. Not next year, not next month. How God will begin to move people and things will surprise you. Let it be for you in the name of Jesus. For someone here, God is saying, I should tell you that that missing donkey is on his way back home. I'm saying this by the Spirit of God. That missing donkey is on his way back home. You will understand what God is saying. That missing donkey is on his way back home. For someone here, God is speaking to you. With five loaf and two fish, you will feed 5,000 and yet 12 baskets will be left. In the name of Jesus Christ. For another person here it will be for you like it was for mordecai the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened where mordecai saved the life of the king and was not honored in the name of jesus let the book of remembrance be open for your sake be sensitive one minute and we're wrapping up hmm. something is happening in this place this woman I'm seeing oil coming on her this woman close to the one lifting her hands help that woman I just saw oil and the Lord is saying it's the oil of favor the oil of favor I use her as a point of contact to pray for everyone here help them please where you have not seen favor in your life in Abakatosh Katebakata, may that grace rest upon you now. You don't have to bring them out. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Please hear me. When Jesus was born, the spirit of the Antichrist, through Herod, wanted to seek for him and kill him. 
they hid him somewhere and the angel appeared and told joseph he said you can now return those who seek the life of your child are gone i pray for you in the name of jesus christ those who seek your downfall those who seek your tears those who want evil to continue in your life those who laugh with you in the open but go back in the secret and wish you evil may the god of judgment arise in the name of jesus in the name of jesus I'm looking at hands in the realm of the spirit God is showing me but I'm seeing the hands empty there is nothing on them can I tell you empty handedness is a cause I want to rebuke it from your life father I cry to you in the name of Jesus oh God of mercy arise everyone here every family here represented who have suffered the cause and the plague of empty handedness may my God visit you this morning anyone here trusting God for a job you have applied you have done everything you know to do in the name of Jesus three months from today by the power that raised Christ from the dead may my God grant you rest hallelujah we're wrapping up please believe now let me pray I prayed a prayer yesterday that I want to repeat today if there is anyone here or any family the spirit of death has been looking for you through dreams you go to sleep and you see yourself dead people calling you the bible says what fellowship has, what what does the living have to do with the dead any spirit of the dead calling you in the name of jesus here at this conference by the power that raised christ from the dead i separate you from the spirit of the grave hallelujah I did say also yesterday that all blessings come from God through men to men please never forget this all blessings come from God through men that means you need both God and men to receive some of you God said yes since 2017 but the men that must also say yes the devil has been driving them from your life let me call them by prophecy in the name of jesus every human vessel who has been ordained and assigned to partner with prophecy and bring the manifestation of the word of god in your life in the name of jesus i release them right now to your destiny i release them right now to your destiny i release them right now to your destiny hallelujah in one minute i'd like you to pray for the foundations of sapphire my apologies for taking two or three minutes let's pray for our mothers our aunties the women in this church please open your mouth in one minute and cry from the depth of your heart lord we pray for foundations of sapphire by the power that raised christ from the dead bless them honor them anoint them increase them multiply them The sounds of mourning would not be heard in their midst. The sounds of shame and defeat would not be heard in their midst. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You came to this church this morning and you are standing right here. As you listen to me teach on the mercy of God, the Holy Spirit began to convict your heart to tell you that you need to be a principal recipient of that mercy this morning. The hallmark of the demonstration of God's mercy was his substitutionary sacrifice on the cross. You are here and Jesus is calling you. Please, no distraction. Perhaps you are saying, Apostle, I remember giving my life to Jesus, but as it is, my life and my destiny has gone haywire. I need restoration. 
our time is gone we just have one minute for you here at this morning service i want you to win that war this morning wherever you are please run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before me here it is an opportunity to make it right with jesus don't look at anybody this is between you and jesus please come and stand celebrate them as they come i'll count three and we'll begin to pray Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Come, calling for you and for me. Two, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Come home, come home. You are weary come oh come to jesus softly and tenderly jesus is calling calling all sinners come home apostle i want to come but i'm not sure if i'm saved or not join them there is no such thing as i'm not sure if you are not sure come and be sure this morning please quickly very quickly we want to pray remember you are not a candidate for mercy when there is no brokenness there has to be a broken and a contrite spirit as powerful as the mercy of god is it depends on brokenness the magnet that attracts it to your life is brokenness thank you for making this bold decision some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears jesus is calling you what a harvest this morning. Is someone celebrating Jesus? Don't be ashamed of your tears. He will give you a new beginning. Now please, look at me, all of you who are here. I know you are crying. Can I tell you this? Every one of us cried like you too. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Your tears are a token, a representation of your desperation and your need my bible says the lord is nigh them that call upon him there are many people who come out for an altar call and they are not serious they just stand roaming around i assure you they were not saved coming out is not what saves you is the contriteness of heart and then professing with that prayer with faith in your heart Thank you very much for making this decision. May I please request that you lift your right hand. And those who are following online, you are making Jesus Lord of your life. Here is a chance to open up and receive. You pray this prayer also. It doesn't matter the nation, whether you are watching by way of rebroadcast. This is an opportunity for you to make Jesus Lord of your life. Please lift your hands, those of you in front here. I want you to say this after me. Honestly, there are people crying here, my God. And my heart is even... Say after me, dear Lord Jesus. One more time, say it again. I believe in you. Say it, let the devil hear you. Say, I believe in you. That you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. I declare that I cannot help myself help me this morning I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from today and forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the lamb amen and amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones for no man comes to you except you draw them they have responded to this call many of them with tears in their eyes lord jesus thank you for the honor of bringing this one to the king of kings and the lord of lords i pray that the power of god will keep you i pray that the grace of god will keep you by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and in the name of jesus i declare that you start afresh with god today no going back you go forward ever and backward never. I declare that the power of sin 
Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you. Now, please, here's what I want you to do. Many of you are crying. Honestly, this is, you can't imagine how, I mean, I've, it's been a long time since I saw so many people just crying and weeping before the Lord in genuine repentance. Our Father is there waving his hands. Now, here's what I want all of you to do. Please, in concert, I want you to follow him. And a few counselors will be there to pray with you. Just have your details and you'll be back. Have they been given the card? Or they'll be... Okay, praise God. Let's celebrate them as they go. Thank you. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, the entire leadership of the church, Foundations of Sapphire, thank you for the honor of having me around to share the word of the Lord. And I pray that God will increase us, that all together we'll keep loving Jesus and we'll go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.